Well, residents talked about their family and friends who are still living in European countries, and they're looking for ways they can help. Mari Maka, Senior Director of Programs, says she knows it can be an overwhelming time, and she wants to do all she can, starting by listening. For decades, many of the residents have lived here at Shalom Tower, a senior living facility in Louisville, resettled from their home countries in Europe. In light of the current events, we wanted to make sure they had an opportunity to be able to voice their concerns. Some spoke about family and friends back home. Many asked about solutions, something Mari Malka is working on, but can't answer right now. It's difficult seeing folks that you've cared about, that you've worked with over really a course of their life here, um, uh, feeling so distraught um, at, the, at, the, at the events that are taking place right now and the concern that they're feeling over friends and not being able to have answers for them. She's working on talks with affiliate and local agencies to see if there are any resettlement efforts they can take part in, just like the center did 30 years ago. I hope they feel comforted in knowing that they're still supported. Bellarmine University economics professor Abby Blanco says it's hard to tell if the new sanctions will be enough to stop Russia's invasion of Ukraine. But she sees private companies stepping up to help. They're taking the burden on themselves to figure out, okay, how can we do our part to also help apply this pressure? Some examples, Airbnb today announced it would house refugees. And Liquor Barn says it will no longer sell Russian products. Also, Elon Musk sent Ukraine antennas to access his satellite-based internet service. This is something that is, um, is devastating and that I think should, should give us all pause. Their steps, Blanco says, will keep up the pressure campaign. And as a professor of students affected by this, she's happy to see it. Blanco says locally, besides gas prices, we might not feel the full effects, the economic effects of the crisis just yet. In the coming weeks, she says the prices of goods will likely increase. For example, she says Russia and Ukraine make up about 30 percent of the world's global supply of wheat. I'm live in the newsroom. Bobby McSwine for the WHAS 1119 on your side.